Hey everybody, Dave Robles, Think Real Estate here, bringing you the pros and cons of living in Glendale, California. Number one on the pros for living in Glendale is our amazing architecture. Glendale is home to incredible Spanish revival homes from the 1920s. We have craftsmen's from the 19-teens, and we have mid-century moderns and English cottages, and many of these are protected by historic neighborhoods throughout the city, because Glendale is serious about protecting its architecture. Number two on the list, our schools. Glendale has nine schools listed on the U.S. Department of Education's Blue Ribbon List of Schools, and 26 other schools have been awarded California's Distinguished School Awards. Next on the list of pros, Glendale's amazing city services. Now, we have smaller city services like the city's Rent-A-Bin service, really wonderful tree exchange services, but on a larger level, our city, Glendale Police Department, very well known and well loved. Tell you a little quick story. When my family and I moved here to Glendale 17 years ago, July 4th, we're walking around the neighborhood with our kids and all these police officers and all these squad cars driving around. I got a little nervous. I thought, what's going on? So I asked one of the police officers, hey, Mr. Officer, what's going on? What's all the activity? He says, fireworks, illegal fireworks. I went, oh my God, all this for some fireworks? Okay, maybe a bit overboard, but I felt really safe here in Glendale. Our services, top notch. Number four on the list of pros for living in Glendale is the affordability of our homes compared to the same home in Silver Lake or Los Feliz. For example, right now, price per square foot in Glendale, around $600 a foot. So a 2,000 square foot house is gonna run about a million too. Pick that house up, put it in Silver Lake or Los Feliz, or it's $1,000 a square foot. That same house, $2 million. So you can see Glendale, great value compared to those other areas. Number five on the list of pros for living in Glendale are bustling downtown. Now, this all began back in the 70s and 80s where all we had was the Glendale Galleria and the Brand Boulevard of cars. Well, fast forward a few years, Brand Boulevard, lots of new restaurants, lots of happening, and then the Americana came a few years ago, complete game changer. What a place for restaurants and movie theaters. We have a Lomley Theater now, an Arts District. Glendale has blown up in the downtown world. Number six on the list, Brand Park. Of course, home to Brand Library, which is the big library for the city, but it's also 31 acres that includes baseball diamonds, basketball courts, the Doctor's House Museum, the Japanese Tea House, and of course, behind it, miles and miles of amazing hiking. Now, if you know me, you know I don't hike, but that's okay, it's there and it's fabulous. Check out Brand Park. Number seven on the list, our low crime rate. To give you an example, on a scale of 1 to 100, 1 being no crime and 100 being lots of crime, Los Angeles scores a 29, and the average U.S. town scores a 22, and Glendale scores a 9. And I'll tell you, we at Glendale are really happy with our 9. As a bonus, Glendale is home to the original Portos. And who doesn't love some guava pie or a potato ball? And for dinner, you've got to go to Rafi's, sit in their patio, and enjoy the most amazing Mediterranean dinner you will ever have. Now let's talk about the cons. Number one on the cons list, distance to the west side. And we, when we mean distance, we mean time. If you had left at nine o'clock last night, you can get to Santa Monica in 28 minutes. Try doing that at nine in the morning, and that's almost an hour drive. Number two, it's hotter in Glendale. We're kind of the valley, kind of not, but it's generally three or five degrees hotter than LA and about 10 to 15 degrees hotter than the beach. Number three, the cost of utilities. Now, it's not a big deal, but compared to Los Angeles, Glendale runs about 5% higher in cost of utilities. Next on the list of cons, car insurance. Some people believe that car insurance runs about 10% higher in Glendale than in other cities. Hmm, I wonder if that's because the Glendale DMV has the highest pass rate for a DMV test. Well, there you have it, the pros and cons of living in Glendale. And like every city, it's not perfect. We have our cons, but man, the pros greatly outweigh them. So if you're thinking about doing any kind of buying or selling real estate in Glendale, Think Real Estate is here to help. Look us up, thanks.